Hi, I'm Candace Yates from the Photographs Department here at Christie's. In appreciation of Black History Month, I want to highlight two important figures in the history of photography, Augustus Washington and James Presley Ball. Both born free men of color, these photographers' work shed light on how 19th century African Americans engaged with the newly introduced medium of photography. Augustus Washington was born in 1820 or 1821 in Trenton, New Jersey. Washington made this daguerreotype circa 1850 in his 136 Main Street, Hartford, Connecticut studio. The daguerreotype was made in France in 1839, a silvered copper plate sensitized and exposed in a camera and then exposed to mercury fumes. The daguerreotype has a mirror-like quality and a negative to positive feature that make these objects incredibly captivating. Washington was one of the most successful daguerreotypists working in Hartford. He photographed people from all walks of life, like this unidentified gentleman here, to more notable figures like the abolitionist John Brown. His most important portraits are held in the Library of Congress, depicting a newly formed Liberian government taken circa the 1850s. Although inspirational, these works were used to promote a controversial topic of the time, the immigrating of free blacks to Africa. In this context, Washington's work illustrates the complex issues faced by African Americans in antebellum America. James Presley Ball was one of the most prolific photographers of the 19th century. He opened his first studio in 1845 and worked consistently until his death in 1904. Photographic processes evolved rapidly in the 19th century, and the albumin print gradually usurped the daguerreotype as the preferred portrait medium. The albumin print is known for its lush brown to dark purple tones and its ability to render crisp details, as evidenced in this beautiful example by Ball. Augustus Washington and James Presley Ball have left lasting impressions on the history of photography. Their legacy has inspired contemporary image makers and encourages the further research into lesser known narratives in history.